Oké, okay, so now I back. Let's have this conversation. So G5, you take it upon your fucking despicable, ugly, fucking dingy, dirty looking fucking ass to come to the media expressing and calling I, Cindy Patrice Daxon, near born December 16, 1981. Let me tell you something, girl, with your little pot cake pussy. Let me tell you something, your little filthy, roachy, cunny girl. Don't mix your pussy up. Don't mix it up. Because any niggas in Freeport, Grand Bahama fucking you, they need to be burned alive. Any niggas in Grand Bahama fucking you, G5, they need to be buried alive or burned a fucking life. Because only... Fuck that. Humans should never fuck something look like you. A human being should never fuck something that look like you. Okay? Dirt, you make dirt look fucking good. That's how black... I can't even use the word fucking black because you dingy. Huh? You are black, you dingy, girl. You fucking dingy. All right? Yeah, let's stink, dirty fucking ring of rank panties. Huh? Shitty fucking panties. Dirty panties. Because your panties can't be fucking clean. Not the way you looking. The way you looking, there's no way in history your panties can be fucking clean. All right? You could judge a how a woman look and tell you the type of panties, how, how clean a panties is. So from I see you and I look at you, I know your panties was fucking dirty. It couldn't have been clean based on the fucking, the, the, the outcome of the fucking face that I saw. Ah, huh? you ugly as fuck. Okay? You's the ugliest fucking girl in Freeport, Grand Bahama up to this fucking date. I leave Freeport in this, uh, I leave Freeport October the fucking 10th, 2018 and you still hold the record as the ugliest fucking girl in Grand Bahama. G5. You and your sister being selling pussy from Columbus time. Columbus meet you and your sister selling pussy in Freeport, Grand Bahama. Okay? And after you discover the fucking island and leave, you all selling your pussy. Trust me, I tell y'all, you all in the same condition Columbus fucking meet y'all in. Broke. Huh? Homeless. <laughs> These things. Huh? You all was the only fucking two sisters that would have a fucking, would have a house in the ghetto with fucking rainbows. Huh? When the rainbow wasn't coming out in Grand Bahama, your all host was bringing the fucking rainbow in the fucking sky. You forget it. You all forget your all host with the orange, the pink, the green, and the fucking purple fucking woody. Huh? You all are the loudest color fucking host in the ghetto. I'm on to hold a conversation. <laughs> Come by show. You all want to hold a conversation with me. G5, you all hold a conversation with me. Your sister didn't fucking out. Your sister didn't sell a cut in Abaco, Elutra, Kiara, Allen, and Salvador, fucking, uh, uh, Meguana. In Agua, your sister didn't sell her cunny on every fucking island, even the fucking islands where they didn't discover yet. She didn't drop that pussy on them on those fucking kids. Ah, huh? your sister didn't sell her cunny in every in, fuck that. Your sister didn't sell her cunny on se, 700, 700 of our islands. The bitch didn't fucking did it. All right, don't run up with me, girl. You dummy. Huh? I can't believe fucking niggas in this. Fuck you. Use a dirty, bungy, fucking, dingy character in Grand Bahama. Huh? That's what you is. You ugly. Ugly ugly is a fucking joke. You make ugly look pretty. Huh? And you on top of me. You was on live all in the whole conversation about Cindy Petrie's doctor. You couldn't even show your face, but your hair ain't fixed. Your hair never fixed. Your hair never fucking fixed, girl. Never fixed. Only your sisters be selling a cut and go get a fucking little hairdo and get a fucking little clothes. You yeah, understand I me? Mean, that's all she could get from selling the fucking cunny boy. That cunny man she's be saw. I would know she's washed up with fucking uh absent salt and water. Well, she's wash her pussy with because boy, that pussy don't take a break. I sure that pussy's be numb in her panties. Num 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 num. She need a whole a whole fuck that. They need you need to she need a whole a funeral for that pussy because that pussy didn't been dead. That pussy didn't been fucking dead. <laughs> Come on, shut, don't mix me up. Don't mix me with y'all. Because if I was selling my pussy from Columbus in the fucking island, from the from Columbus selling from, from Columbus, selling in the Bahamas, if I was selling my pussy at a house, car, and land, and things to fucking show for it. You can't be selling your cunny on every fucking island in the 242 and have nothing to show for it. That is dumb. That's a that's a waste of a fuck. Huh? Just to be honest. Okay, G5, you the little dirty pussy. Little stink rank cunny girl, you. You all in the conversation talking about about Cindy Beatrice Daxon, but I, I heard your brother fuck you though. 
Why you don't tell Baham? Why you don't tell the people of the two four do that? Didn't that your brother fuck you? Didn't the girls in the ghetto catch your brother in one of those abandoned buildings fucking ringing your pussy over when you used to go to fucking one of those high school or either? I think Gumbe Land, you forget it. What's when you used to go to Gumbe Land or Jax? You forget them girls in the ghetto catch your brother fucking ringing you all day. Cause you didn't fuck your whole brother. And running over city between Dax it? Girl, level up, girl. Level fucking up, yeah? Level up. Before you come for senior woman and look at your fucking life and check your fucking status, girl. Backtrack your fucking history before you come to my fucking door, girl, because you don't know me. Me and you, we don't breathe the same type of fucking air. We don't be the same type of places. Real talks, because you is garbage, trash, filth. Huh? That's what you is. Huh? And don't slap up on this blue up because I told your sister about her cunning from 2017. Fuck that. From 2016, I was telling your sister about selling a pussy all over the place like them fucking flyers with your over. This is give out. Give out. I meet her inside fucking uh, somewhere bar. I tell her about her babe, Connie, how she sell Connie. By the way, you and your sisters, the only fucking people, two people in Grand Bahama have the cure for HIV. You and your sisters, the only two fucking rats have the cure for HIV. Because, if, listen to me, if y'all ain't got it, Nobody fucking have it. Bro, if you and your sister ain't got it, if you and your sister ain't got AIDS, nobody have AIDS. Nobody have AIDS. Because the way y'all been knocking that pussy around. Jesus Christ. And I know someone who your sister fuck who got it, so unless the pussy is made out of brick, <laughs> unless the pussy have a fucking uh, a steel door behind fucking door number one, then she probably escaped that, but otherwise than that, Y'all been knocking that pussy around like them old iron hangers. Y'all been knocking y'all pussy around from that time like fucking hey, commercial, come on, like clothespin. Don't run up on me. Back up. G5 is a dirty old pot cake fucking dog. Your foot dirty, your face dingy. You talking about eye bleaching? I bleaching very motherfucking hard of that. Please, when you, when you say Cindy bleaching, please put the hard behind the fucking bleaching. Very fucking hard. Ain't no shame in my game. I bleach it so fucking hard until I just wake up and think about the fucking pixie dust. I go to bed thinking about the pixie dust. I love the pixie dust. Fucking different. And what else? Uh huh? As black and dingy as you, as you fucking should need the pixie dust to clean up your fucking all them. Them black cakes on your face, your lip. And you all on top of my lip black. This girl make black lip look bad. My black lip is beautiful. Uh huh? G5, you don't have no children. No children you have. You say you look, you look fucking despicable. You look like a black spot. Huh? You look like a black spot in the Bahamas that need to be clean. And you speaking about me. You talking about me. Huh? Only dirty niggas is fuck you. Because it can't be a nigga with her principle to fuck something look like you. We're talking, there's too much pussy so there to fuck that cunny. Huh? Only dirty fucking niggas. Will drink they cock inside you because any nigga go in your pussy. If any nigga pushes cock in your pussy with a with a with, 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 with the right mindset, he could kill. He could fucking kill. Trust me, they say that he have no reason to fucking live. Any nigga will could push they cock in your pussy and have a clear conscience after fucking you. That nigga is a serious fucking nigga. He don't have no value in his life. He don't give a fuck about life. He need to come. Uh, try fucking sign on to fucking uh, to the Middle East and fucking be a, 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 a real bomber. He need to try fucking go to Pakistan or somewhere and fucking dedicate himself to being a terrorist. Because any nigga would could jump in your pussy and fuck you and don't have a clear conscience after that. He's a something right? Something ain't right? Something can't be fucking right. He have to be a fucking a, a, a bomber. Real talk. He have to be a fucking real talk. Because fucking you is like committing suicide. And you being honest. Fucking you is like committing suicide. Real talks. Fucking your sister is like checking yourself into the HIV ward. Huh? I been talking but y'all ain't nothing new. Go on my page. Check my page out. I been telling y'all about y'all big stink fucking dirty ring of pussy. Little while now. So don't beat up anymore because I am Canada. I only in Canada for a fucking season. Next year I'll be home. And whoever ready to come rubber dub dub in my fucking boat, y'all come see me. Huh? Y'all come see me. I didn't tell y'all. 
I had to slap up on the fucking media. I don't slap up when I get face to face. When y'all see me in Capricorn, I'll tell, tell y'all, but y'all big stink, honey. Y'all see me come running over y'all and slapping up and beating them. No, 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 no. I spoke about y'all, so it's only fair for y'all to come run up on me. I don't come, I don't look for trouble. Trouble has come to me. I want trouble to come to me. I don't go to trouble. I, I don't I don't I don't bring trouble. No, no. When y'all saw me in Capricorn, after I tell y'all, but y'all big London bridges falling down, water fucking water fucking park, fucking cabin pussy. Why didn't y'all step the fuck in me when I was in the Port G5? She, 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 yo, I, I, I stand in the front of Capricorn fucking door, kneel down on the floor and tell you in the front of Capricorn door how you to sell your fucking easy pussy and you won't say nothing to me. You forgetting. You forgetting, she, yo. I meet you downtown by somewhere and I tell you in the fucking bar you all about with this fucking easy cutting. In front of everybody in the bar, and didn't you start running on with me? And when I go, when we go on the side, you talk about, oh, I tired of this girl, like you were coming to talk to me. And I tell you, nigga, no, let her fucking go. I want her to express how she feel. Didn't I tell her, did, did, didn't I tell the nigga from the bar, let you go? She, I'm, I'm, I'm Gio, Gio. I tell the nigga from the bar, I say, no, let her go. I want her to express how she fucking feel. Oh, all about. Because if you let her go, she only running into a fucking wall. Trust me, they tell you that. Huh? Yes. We buck so many times. So many times. And as bad as I talk about y'all on the media, y'all never step to fucking me because y'all know as I walk to the valley of shadow there, I should fear no sluts. No sluts. For thou are with me, dog. My bottles, they stay with me. And any bitch would run up on me, they will get it. You can feel it. You really can feel it. You want to know how many licks it takes for a fucking Hennekin bottle to fucking crack? Fuck with me. If you want to know how many fucking licks it takes for a Hennekin fucking bottle to crack, run up on Cindy Patrice. I promise you fucking that. When I land back in the fucking ports, the first thing I'm going to need is my pink card because the first bitch fuck with me, I can fucking swallow y'all. You hear me? I can use one of y'all as an example. You hear what I say, right? When I, when the doctor didn't diagnose me with bipolar. In the pots. How did you get diagnosed with bipolar? Okay? See, y'all is ah fucking stupid. I know I'm fucking stupid. Y'all is ah. See, y'all don't have a lot of people that's being your mind talk, talk in your mindset, talking to y'all, in your brain, talking to y'all. I didn't have so many people in me fucking talking to me. Huh? The doctor didn't try giving pills to fucking make them stop fucking talking, you know. I say, no, 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 leave them there. I know how to get rid of them. So you know I already diagnosed with my fucking situation as being bipolar. And y'all can fuck with me. I gotta get my pink card long time, but I blame myself. I should have got my fucking pink card so I could have fucking show one of y'all how the magical carpet fucking ride really is. Huh? Real talk. I could I wanted to show I should have I should have got my pink card so I could have take y'all on a magical carpet fucking ride. Real talk. So anyhow. Dr. Tankwest. Keep that book with that file with that diagnose which you diagnose me with. So I could use that because I can need that pink card when I land because I can really need the cut of fucking critical Sunlim Spatian movie. Real talk. So if y'all wanna know how many licks it takes for Hennekin fucking bottle to crack, fuck with Cindy Patrice. Don't mind that. And y'all is the same dirty, bungy fucking girls out the ghetto who was slapping up at me, ah, uh, when I had to end it in the fucking ghetto, when I slide up in the ghetto with a back chunk full of bottles. Y'all is the same bitches. I meet y'all in the fucking police station telling the police, it was 20 y'all. I come in the police station and lock up my baby daddy because you know I love to send niggas to jail, right? I come in the police station to lock up my baby daddy. I meet 20 y'all to the fucking uh, police fucking desk. Report me telling me telling the police oh, how I threaten y'all. And I say y'all have AIDS. And I, I take a pictures of y'all house. Y'all could have beat me. It was 20 y'all. It was only fucking me, me and two other places. Y'all could have gang me. 20 to fucking three. We outnumbered. But y'all know. Y'all fucking know. Oh, man. Listen, I can tell anybody 
I don't want mark on me from a bitch. I will tell anybody the pressure inside me is so fucking real. The hurt inside me is so fucking real. You understand me? I have some unfucking answered questions and situations I needed to be answered from my mother. My grandmother fucking dead. My oldest brother fucking dead. I have a lot of things going on. My fucking daddy dead. I have a lot of things going on. I have a little girl that lives inside me that's still fucking hurting and going through situations. I have a lot of things inside me that I could, I cannot change. And if a bitch run up on me, oh God, all those fucking questions I have that needed to be answered, I will answer them with you. I will take my problems out on fucking you. Promise you that. I don't fuck with people. I don't mix with people. I just stay to myself. I don't keep company. I don't keep friends. Okay? The best gift I learn in life, and the, I hate my daddy, and I don't like him. My daddy's dead and gone. The best thing my daddy ever did for me and my brothers, because all of us are like, we don't like company. We don't like people. We just stay to ourselves. We talk. And the best thing I get from my daddy is fucking staying away from humans. Nobody knock on my door. I got two fucking associates here. Two, two, two associates. Huh? I, two associates. Here, I just fucking have conversations with. Huh? I got one girl over you here who I consider as a sister to me. You understand me? Because me and I was close from the fucking, from the Bahamas for like 12, 13 years. Okay? Otherwise than that, ain't nobody's come to my house. Nobody's knocked on my door. I don't look for friends. So at the end of the day, who would fuck with me? Or who would come and fuck with me? <laughs> I didn't tell you before. Y'all just play fucking crazy. I just wake up in the morning and know I go in the jail. I just pack my bag before I leave the house because I know I go in the jail. That's the type of movie I just cut. I don't fucking wake up and say, what ever happened, happened, happened. No. I just wake up knowing the fuck. That the day is the day I am going behind this, behind the bars. But I stop that. And I tell you why I stop that. Because y'all fucking free pot girls, y'all like to beat y'all fucking mode up. And the minute somebody run up on y'all and whop y'all fucking head off, y'all got the police on WhatsApp. Y'all got the cops on fucking Snapchat. Real talks. Nobody could beat y'all running to the man. Nobody. Huh? Nobody. I don't, I, I don't go to the police station and report fucking girls to them. I just go to the police station to send fucking niggas to jail. Yeah. Sometimes you just need to sit down and think about things in life. So anytime you need to fucking clear your mind out, I just send you a place where you can fucking find ease and find peace. Real talk. But I don't that you never catch me to the police station fucking going to go report. No girl. But for what? What I gotta report you for when I can deal with your ass myself? Huh? So you all don't mind the fucking slap Wendy? I ain't scared, scared. What I scared of Wendy for? What the fuck? I, I, I scared of Wendy for? Wendy ain't a fuck to me. What I scared of for? For what? I bet you can't even keep a fucking man. Huh? Daughters ain't fucking your man in your fucking face, Snapchatting with your fucking man, loving up your man. Loving up your fucking baby daddy, you on the media talking fucking, but you'll never fucking ride, will never fucking stop. Well, did not the ride stop. Did not the ride stop. Well, fuck that. Did not the bus fucking stop and you had to get the fuck off. Or that. But you can say you run up on me. Big goon fucking me. 38 years of fucking age. 1981 fucking classic fucking senior woman on this road. You can run up on me. Independent fucking woman that you can run up on me and do what? I look like you're fucking turn, but you can beat, beat what? You can beat fucking Rotman, Rotman and fucking Demore. What you can fucking beat? You can beat Aspen fucking Blue. What you can beat? What the fuck you can beat, girl? Huh? Girl, don't mix me fucking up. What the fuck you can beat? Mentors? What you can beat? What type of cigarette brand you can fucking beat? Beat who? Beat fucking who? Y'all only slap up. Y'all all already use. Y'all already use fucking uh, globalization pussy. Y'all need to slap up. Slap fucking up. Girl, please. Y'all like to run y'all fucking talks to the old Cindy with her bunch of fucking children. And you see how I look with my bunch of fucking children? You see how I look? My breasts still fucking up. Bungie still high in the fucking air. Pussy still fucking percolate. Now what else? What fucking else? Huh? That's why y'all mad. 
You all mad because you all fucking 38. And when do you can't talk with nobody? Because you on the next time you're four children in Grand Bahama and one in Nassau. Everybody thinking you only have four fucking children. You have a whole daughter in Nassau. You can't even fucking get. Why you don't talk that? Cindy Bitches that's enough all her fucking children with her. You have five fucking children, only four with you in fucking Freeport, and one inside now, and she's a little girl, and you can't even get her. What type of mother you is? Hmm? Hmm? You wanna talk? You wanna tell your friends them about your extra child with your hubby, which you can't even keep? Huh? Her parents them, her, 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 her grandmothers them wouldn't even send her to fucking Freeport to spend a day with you? <laughs> Come on, Shul. Back up, bitch. I as a mother. I don't give away my fucking children for no reason. None. None. If any one of my fucking boys, them, they go by their daddy and they spend a, a year or, or fucking six months or whatever. They with their daddy, they live right down the road. They could come with me. They know where mommy is. Real talk. I would never fucking give away none of my children to go lift another island and I fucking here. That's not a mother. That is not a mother. Okay? A mother be where her fucking children is. Okay? Don't mix me up. Don't mix me up. Different levels of bitches. So Wendy Wise, you on the media slapping up and running on and throwing your little fucking dears and pulling up, pulling up pictures off my Facebook page and making mockery of it. Pictures from 2009 and bitch. In 2009, I was what, 29? I was, I, I was 28? Listen to me. Y'all pulling up them old pictures what I have up on my page and trying to make a mockery of me. Don't make a mockery of me, baby. You can make a mockery of me. Don't pull up nothing from 2009, baby. Let's pull up something from 20 fucking 19, 2018, and 2020, baby. Get some up-to-date fucking pictures of me. Don't backtrack and pull up no old fucking 10 years ago fucking pictures, baby. Because that's being... That, 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 that there is a technical fucking file. Huh? Okay, good. Now, what else? What else? Y'all mad? Y'all mad? Y'all fucking mad. I, I can be convinced. I convince y'all mad. Y'all mad. Y'all mad because y'all look as good as fucking me. Y'all man and look as good as fucking my husband. Y'all mad. Y'all mad because my con my 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 y'all mad because my fucking body still percolating. My body look as good as it fucking looked up the seven children that I have. Y'all mad because my dick nice and young and fucking firm. And y'all mad because my cock don't fucking sleep on my bed. And y'all mad because my dick never fucking will diss me face to face in front of no bitch. But you and you. You. Your baby daddy told you in the front of Capricorn he don't want you. I never see a woman could take so much fucking downgrade from a fucking man who don't want them. Stop trying to force your way to be into something that is not for you because I mean the nigga don't want you. That's English. Huh? That is not fucking French or fucking Creole or fucking uh, uh, Italian. The nigga speaking English. Don't you understand the fucking language, bitch? Every time you find it in yourself, oh, you bring it up my daughter, but oh, how me and my daughter is a juice the same man. Juice the same fucking man where? Juice the same man fucking where? This is a 1981 classic fucking Uncle Wonka fucking pussy. This don't have a problem with fucking finding dick. So why in the world would me and my daughter fuck the same man when I don't have a dicky fucking problem? I don't have a cocky fucking problem, girl. So why would me and my daughter share the same cock when I don't have a cocky problem? No, baby, get it right. Get it fucking right. My daughter and my husband used to go to the same school. Real talks. That's where they used to go. But they never had no relationship, baby. Back up. I don't do old niggas. The world know that Cindy fucking loved them young. And God and I love them young. So he, find, he, get, he sent me the finest fucking thing he could find in the parts. My husband is fine as fuck. <laughs> fine as fuck. That's why y'all buzzards and roosters and rats. Y'all just try y'all on. <laughs> One little birdie get in, two little birdie might fucking try, three little birdie. I don't give how much birdies try to get in. Only one fucking big bird on the fucking scene. Huh? One eagle. One eagle upon the fucking scene is me. One fucking eagle. Only one eagle. Y'all little blue birds and fucking red fucking dot birds. Y'all try your line with my dicky. Yeah, one might get in, two might fucking try. But only one fucking eagle upon the scene, eh? Okay, that. Back up. Back fucking up. Different levels of bitches. And none of my fucking baby daddies them can never disrespect fucking me and say talk bad about me now because I am the definition of a fucking woman. Always was an independent fucking bitch. Never needed them to fucking do a shit for fucking me. Real talks. Huh? Real fucking talks. And I have all my fucking cheer with me. Real talks. 
Real talks. All. My children with me. Every fucking last one. Now what else? What else? Honey saying what else? What else? Okay. I don't be fucking calling my baby daddies and running them down for money. Huh? To fucking take care of their fucking children. Huh? Only one of my baby daddies must make sure. Send every month, send his son a couple of dollars. Huh? And, and only a couple of dollars. It only fucking, it, it, it only, it's change. Because it ain't no money to fucking me. Huh? The only thing I can do with that is fucking probably buy him a couple of little fucking uh, 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 Burger King fucking number one out of that. Time no fucking money. Real talks. So at the end of the day, the only fucking person taking care of these fucking children proper fucking lay is I sit the bitches dax in me. I's mommy and fucking daddy in my fucking children life. Real talks. Fuck a baby daddy. Real talks. What thing is a fucking gaming? You know game fucking here. Don't mix me up. Don't mix me up. When y'all fucking speak about me, y'all speak facts. Speak fucking facts. Huh? None of my baby daddies can never slap up about me about I see the between ducks and none. Because I got their children fucking back. Me. I making sure their children fucking eat every day at me. I got a roof over their children fucking at me. I making sure clothes in the fucking back. Me. Huh? They got 150 of fucking money. Ain't no money. Nothing. Nothing. I take my fucking two big boys. I take my two big boys and daddy to go buy a fucking outfit. They go buy a fucking outfit for them to put on. Huh? Go buy a set for them to put on. Because they tell me, mommy, I want one, 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 one suit. But they see they, well, they are friends up. They say they want. And I take them inside the place, inside the mall to go get the fucking suit. The suit costs $210. Huh? That's only two pieces for them. Don't mix me fucking up. Two, 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 210 Really? Good place. Back up. One of my boys standing as a fucking loan. One of my sons standing as I have a fucking big children. I don't know children. Huh? Mama and papi them small. But I have two big boys. One of their ten is a loan. It's like $174. Huh? $240. These boys are men size 8. Size 7. Huh? Real talks. Down a little children foot. I gotta pay for fucking them. They ain't fucking free. Huh? My baby daddies and men taking care of their fucking children the way they're supposed to take care of their fucking children. You didn't get time to listen to y'all deadbeat fucking whatever type of mothers y'all fucking is. Who didn't even have all your children with y'all with your slapping up at me? Back up. Back fucking up, girl. My daughter will never be on a different island and I send in things to fucking her. Because a woman, a daughter need to be with her mother. Okay, my pussy can be with me. My cunning can be with fucking me, buddy. Real talks. My vagina can be with me. Any little girl I push up, my pussy can be with Cindy Patrice. And nobody can watch that. I watch it that. Me. Now back up. I can see you fucking get let the, 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 your da the daddy raise the boys or whatever. But not the little girl. So when y'all run on with me, run on the fuck. R run on and talk facts. I'm a mother. My baby daddies could never talk about me because they don't properly take care of their children. None of them. None of them. They don't properly take care of their fucking children. None of them. Properly take care of their fucking 150 a month. What 150 could fucking do for a big grown fucking child? Huh? What the fuck 150 could do for a big grown fucking child? That's garbage. That's garbage. Huh? The next one is send fucking money every fucking four months. Every five months he send money, every four, five fucking months. What the fuck that could do for my child? Huh? But you think I could be on the phone and call him and say, huh? Um, you need to send this for what? For what? What what I can be calling them for? I ain't calling them niggas. Every dog have his fucking day. I can take care of my children. So we gonna talk about Cindy Cindy's taking her, take care of her children. Fuck her baby daddy. Huh? Fuck a baby daddy. I ain't making it clear. None of my baby daddies them can never talk about me. Because I just take care of their fucking children. I just take care of their fucking boys. Real talks. I just take care of their boys. I's mommy and daddy. 
Only one of my baby daddies, one of my baby daddies, one of my baby daddies is sending $150 every month for his son. And $150 a month is garbage. That could never feed and clothe a big child. Never. Never. There's no way in history $150 can feed and clothe a big fucking boy with a size 8. In tennis. Never. Never. So don't mix me up. Don't mix me fucking up. The next one is send fucking some V child every fucking three, every four months. Every four months he sends some V fucking child. So that's a whole different ball game there. You got these niggas and they, they got these baby daddies and they've catered other people cheering for us before they catered to their own. Real talks. But me, see, I don't have the time to be calling them and running on and slapping up at them. For what? No. I ain't hungry. God will always provide for me and mine. Huh? He'll always provide for me and mine. I will be selfish. I will be, I will be wrong to call these fucking niggas and run on and, and row for little 50 and fucking 60 dollars. I would be, I will be wrong when God always have me covered. Will Varo at Maro Evans, you can't even talk because you can't tell the last, you can't, you can't tell the world the last time you buy one fucking noodles, just one, a 50 cents noodles for your two sons. So you is the definition of garbage, filthy fucking juice. If you die the day or tomorrow, the cheering candy, I can't even clean and I be from off your fucking ass because you never work. So use the real definition of trash. Real talks. The real definition of, of trash. That's what you is. I just pray God every day you go back to jail. Every day. I just pray you go back to jail because you need to go to jail. You don't you don't need to be out in society to fucking Big up somebody else's child. You don't need to do that. You need to be in fucking jail. Jail is where you need to be. Because you need you have the, you have a lot of thinking you need to do. Real talks. Real talks. The, 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 the first time I said I put you in fucking jail, they only give you two years. I was trying for them to I wanted them to give you life. Real talks. But the police told me they couldn't do that. I wanted them to give you fucking life, but they only give you two years. I go on back again to try fucking send you up for four years. And that's when the girls on the side they make a report against me. Real talks. <laughs> I just pray every day you go to jail. Every day. I just pray. Because you don't need to be on earth. You don't need to be walking around, communicating. You don't need to be going to Burger King or going to Wendy's and eating a meal. You don't need to fucking be around. You need to go in the panels and fucking sit small and think. Think about life. That's how I write it. I just wanted them eyes right like that. So when you all fucking slapping up about me, about me or slap up fucking directly, I's a hardcore in definition of fucking independent fucking woman. I's mother and father to my fucking children. Call me whatever y'all want fucking call me. My children never see a hungry day. They never see a day where they don't fucking have it. They never look at the other fucking children and say, oh, why they have this and I don't have that. They have fucking laptop. They have Xbox game. They have PS4. They have everything they need and desire and fucking want. My fucking children. Huh? I'll dig up the dead and pick their fucking pocket for my fucking children. I will walk in any fucking ocean, jump in any fucking canal and blow out any fucking sea for my fucking children. Real talks. My children will never go through what I fucking go through. And I don't need a daddy, a fucking grammy, a fucking auntie, a fucking uncle to feed my motherfucking children. Never. Never. As long as bread is in my fucking body, my children can have it. And even when I dead and fucking gone, beyond the fucking grave, I can make sure they have it. Now what else? What fucking else? So when y'all will speak about Sydney Patrice with accent, y'all speak fucking facts and speak fucking truth. Real talks. Don't mix me up. Don't mix me fucking up. Every time I go to the hospital, I push my fucking, push them, any children on my pussy, they my fucking responsibility. Mine. Me. And they're part of fucking me. And I will never fucking have my, have my children wondering and, and thinking wh where the next meal can come from and depending on no fucking baby daddy. Fuck a baby daddy. So don't mix me up. When y'all talk about me and slapping up on me in the media, don't get my children involved. Because my children don't name Cindy Patrice. Please. My, one, my, my oldest daughter don't name Cindy Patrice. Don't call her fucking name. Because I teach her how, I teaching her now how to be an independent mother. She don't, my daughter don't need to call me and say, mommy, all oh, the children need pompers. No, no, no. She just take care of fucking children because that's how I have a train. Take care of your fucking children. That's what real mothers do. Huh? Real mothers don't call mommy and daddy every fucking week. Huh? For water and juice. No. 
Real mothers take care of their fucking children. Okay, Wendy, you don't know how to do that because you just call your daddy for everything. Can I have a loaf of bread, please? Can I have five dollars? I need to buy a pack of cigarettes. You just call your daddy every fucking minute, every second. Huh? You just call your daddy for snack money over the children. Um, excuse me. I need to get some lunch money for the children. What type of what type of woman you is? You're trash. <laughs> you almost 40 girl, you're trash. So don't mix me up with y'all. Me and y'all on a different fucking level, a different page. And you talking fuck with all Cindy's fuck this and Cindy, Cindy's fuck the, the, the PLP. Oh, but if my pussy's a politician pussy, then it is what it is. But I am a hardcore fucking PLP. Hardcore fucking PLP. Huh? You vote in FNM and look at fucking you. You look base and ring rate fucking out. I need the FNM. You could barely fucking buy yourself a fucking box of cigarettes. You got to call your fucking daddy for that. What else? You're tired of the fucking, with the groupers and the snappers and the fucking, uh, uh, crawfish and the fucking crab legs and tired of you with your daddy is fucking give you the salvia talks. Old smoky fucking cigarettes. Talking with me, girl. Fuck you, girl. You can't find a proper nigga to fuck your pussy and stand it. You can't find a proper nigga to fuck your pussy and park in it. Every nigga would park in your fucking pussy reversing out one fucking shot and leaving your parking lot fucking empty and dry. You could never find a nigga to properly park in your pussy, girl. I want to talk with fucking me. Huh? When my husband run up in this pussy, he meet a VIP fucking parking spot near. Huh? Waiting for fucking him. With all the fucking children I have, my husband's still going to meet a VIP fucking parking space in my pussy when he line up in here. And you run up with fucking me, girl. Back up, girl. Back fucking up. Back up. The amount of children you have doesn't define the fucking wear and tear of your body. You do. You do. Nobody have the normal fucking train you have when you step out. Your belly don't have to be touching your fucking knees. Your breasts don't have to be wrapped around your fucking neck. You don't have to look like you have seven fucking children. I have seven children. I don't look like I have seven children. Women do why? Because I just take care of my fucking self with day. Real talks. Real talks. Now what else? Huh? The Bible say, God tell me, if you want to know my people, look at them. I know I, I, I am one of his. You don't see just like a flower? I'm eyes blossom. You all mad. Y'all fucking mad. Huh? Bitches ain't pulling up a picture from 2009 and trying to come at me. Bitch, it's 2020. Huh? I look better. Just like wine. I get better and y'all mad. <laughs> y'all fucking mad. Just like wine. I get better and y'all fucking mad. Pulling up a picture from 2009 and it's 2020. I look fucking good. Y'all mad and y'all bug. Because my cock nice and fucking percolating and fucking up and standing and saluting in this pussy. And you're all fucking mad. When you so jealous of fucking me, you going to get yourself a, uh, you going to get yourself a a, a, a a nice green young cock, and you couldn't keep it, and you mad at me because you can't keep your dick. <laughs> Listen, make the young cock is not for everybody, girls. Ladies, the young cock is not for everyone. You have to have a well qualified pussy, and a percolating moat, huh, to keep a qualified cock. Or that. Now what else? Okay. What else? Okay. Huh? <laughs> I'm running with me. That don't make no sense. That don't make no sense, boo boo. Your ass flat. Your breast didn't walk out. I don't know what happened to you. You look like you fucking must have hit the wrong cigarette pack. They lace your cigarette, eh, Wendy? <laughs> they lace your cigarette, eh? I think they lace a fucking cigarette. That's why, that's why you looking the way, because you look fucking despicable, girl. What happened to you? Jesus. <laughs> Who do that to you? <laughs> Who do that to you, girl? Because you look fucking bad, girl. Talking with me over Sydney. I remember I had to get Sydney money to go kill that fucking train. You owe me train. Give you money to kill fucking what? I don't need to give nobody no money to go kill no fucking baby with my pussy. Because I know just how to find Asian mommy to get the $50 fucking pill, bitch. Huh? I tell the fucking world. I keep what I want and I eat what I don't. Huh? And don't shame in my fucking game. So you can't you can't come and style a style up. Huh? You can't come and style me who I just style my fucking self. My life is an open fucking book. I just tell the world. Huh? That. I sure I have a private fucking VIP fucking graveyard for the fucking children I couldn't keep. Now what else? You give me $20 to get rid of what? Get rid of what? Girl, I can teach you how to fucking kill, baby. You can never teach me how to kill fuck. You can never teach a senior, a senior fucking specialist fucking baby. Huh? Make a how to kill a fucking baby in it. You dummy. Ah, you fucking dummy. Girl, back up, girl. You can never teach a baby specialist how to fucking get rid of a baby in the belly, you jackass. You sound stupid. Fucking stupid, girl. Stupid. 
You teach me how to kill. You fucking give me money to kill a baby. And I can teach you how to kill a baby? In my fucking belly? Like, really? I need you. I need Wendy Fox to give me money to fucking buy. Then you on the media talking fuck with all how you used to take care of my child, you used to take care of heaven. I wouldn't believe in this world. Now, let's be real, folks. How in the world all these fucking years, I'm 38 years of age. I have seven fucking children. And I can wait till I have my last fucking golden princess for Wendy to take care of him. When you go on to the stage and you come up, you bring heaven four fucking outfits. Four fucking dollar outfits. Four dollar outfits. I wish I had that outfit inside. You would have the fucking, uh, the beeper still in it. The beeper. You bring a whole outfit for my fucking daughter. From America would have the fucking, uh, the, 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 the monitor still on it. So you must see teeth that on the fucking stuff. Talking fuck, but oh, I must go by parking shop. Or I must go to one of those stores and try to get it all. You forget it. You bring four outfits from fucking heaven. Huh? Four outfits. Three of them, but they was all dollar outfits. And the fucking, one of them had a whole fucking monitor on it. Where you fucking must eat teeth because you know you love the teeth. You love the teeth and you like the fucking set niggas up. Real talks. Now what else? What else? But you used to take, oh, Cindy Brown, I have a whole christening. But can you bring one fucking baby bathtub to my baby christening? In my fucking apartment. Huh? In my apartment. Where I cook my fucking food, you talking fuck, but oh, you, 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 how you, you, you had a whole christening for me. Can I fuck you, eh? Huh? I, you have a decade. Huh? Well, back up, good. Back fucking up, good. Back up. I didn't tell you, I may smile with you, gel with you, even hang with you. You understand me? But don't make it look like me use no best of fucking friends. I don't even trust my fucking self, good. We talk. So me and you can never be no best of friends. You can't speak, you can't talk about me, girl, because your mouth stink of fucking cigarettes. Stink of cigarettes. Huh? Real talks. Now, what else? What else? What else? What else? Because I, I confuse. What else? Huh? My husband cheated on me, but my husband never disrespect me in the front of my face to the world with no other woman. Huh? No other woman could never show me no fucking pictures with her and my husband in the bed and oh. Fucking having fun and he kissing up. They can't show that. They can't. But you on the next time. You know, Tony loved the snap. Snap, 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 snap. Oh, he loved the fucking cameras different than me. Cheese, cheese. Yeah. And you on the media. My baby daddy, I don't give a fuck. Cindy talking fuck with my baby daddy. How my baby, how I run. When my baby daddy, listen, I love my baby daddy. I don't give a fuck. I love him. And he love me and he ain't going nowhere. And two weeks later. Baby, daddy, gone. Now what else? So that's why you won't beat me? That's why you won't beat me, Wendy? You won't beat me because your baby daddy gone and I tell you your baby daddy gone. You beat me? You, that's why you won't beat me, Wendy? <laughs> oh, that's why you won't beat me. <laughs> now you have your little fucking dirty fucking entourage coming up, running up on me. Huh? G5, your pussy so fucking stink. I could, I could smell your, your cunning any fucking location I is. Even in Dubai, Pakistan, I can smell like honey. That, that, she You can never talk with Cindy Patrice. Your pussy does get used like them black and white fucking textbook. Your pussy does get used like them fucking black and white textbooks when the children take to school. Your pussy all bang up. I wouldn't, girl, I would be like, do me a favor. Take a picture of your pussy and please send it to me. Because I would love to take a look at that pussy. That pussy in critical condition. That pussy is in critical fucking condition. The man in the boat, they know the boat in that cunning. Trust me, they tell you that. Trust me, they tell you that. Your pussy tongue then turn into a butterfly and your pussy girl. And talking fuck, girl, back up, girl. Back up. Y'all is all rats and has and haws and fucking door nubs and door fucking, uh, 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 door fucking, uh, 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 walls. Door bars, that's what y'all is. Ring around the fucking doors, that's what y'all is, girl. Niggas is used all for fucking windows, huh? Back doors and front doors. Real talk, y'all can't talk with nobody. It's different levels of bitches, huh? You all mad and you all bug, you all always talking fuck, but Austin, you have a lot of children. Yeah, the Bible say be fruitful and fucking multiply. Now what else, huh? She or you don't have one child, you push out your pussy. One baby, you don't have one baby. Not even one baby, you have one. Why you don't have no baby? Because your pussy, you was banging that fucking door from used to. You bounce on your mother pussy. You bounce on your mother pussy looking for dick. Huh? You, you was a, oh, I mean, I, 
They say kids innocent, but you bounce to the young mother pussy as a whore. Tell me I lie. As bad as you is, you fuck multiple niggas, every nigga. About 85% of the niggas in Grand Bahama, you suck their dick and you fuck. Huh? You even suck one of my baby daddies and cock for $20 because he tell me fucking that. Huh? Oh, God, they say nobody can beat you sucking cock. How come you reach in Hollywood yet, though? Because I hear nobody can beat you sucking cock. I hear anybody want a good cock suck. You is the, what they say, you some fucking bubbler champion when it comes to sucking cock in the pots. I don't know why it takes you so long, girl. You bet the, the, them big fucking bright lights is fucking waiting for you. We ain't talking to the niggas in the ghetto tell me, Cindy, nobody can be she sucking dick. You got $20, she will wipe you fucking clean. I don't know why you wasting your fucking talent in Grand Bahama. You need to get the fuck out of there. Stop going to Abaco. Well, Abaco get fucking destroyed, dude. Dor Dorina, so I don't think you can go to Abaco no more. But don't you fuck with those family out no more. Take that moat to Hollywood. <laughs> Take that moat to Hollywood, girl, because I hear you is a fucking champion bubbler when it comes to sucking dick. I ain't gonna lie, I gotta give you that credit because every nigga I fucking talk about you, they say, Cindy, I ain't gonna lie. Fuck the pussy, I want the moat. <laughs> I know who teach you how to suck dick, but girl, I hear you can suck a cock. You don't got no classes going on, eh? But you know I have a black belt in sucking cock, so I don't need that. I graduate fucking with degrees. You know, I went to Howard University for sucking dick. <laughs> so I don't need your fucking classes. But I sure there's some girls that would need some fucking lessons. You can make some money from that. Stop using, stop fucking giving up pussy out like that. Give the pussy a break, man. Fuck. In minutes, fucking close down the country. I sure you didn't shut down fucking... Uh, your operation, didn't it? <laughs> but if you're watching this live, she by the way, you're being a fucking hoe before I leave and you still is a fucking hoe and your fucking pussies be passing around like a textbook. And G5, you black fucking dot. You. You. You mildew. You so fucking dirty. How dare you speak about I said because that's a girl? How dare you? Jesus Christ. How dare you? You ever see them little children, they running around in the dirt and they foot their black, black, black? You have a permanent fucking stain on you. Yes, they, that dirt don't, don't leave. You could never find water, dead all, bleach, or fucking soap to take that dirt off you. You dirty. Dirty. I thought they tattooed that dirt on you, but it's real. I really thought that was a tattoo. Real talk. You're the only fucking girl in Grand Bahama would have a permanent fucking dirt mark all over. And run on with me. Y'all back fucking up, girl. Me, you don't fuck the same type of niggas. We don't communicate with the same type of niggas, girl. A girl like you, anything I fuck, fuck you. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. I gotta disappear off the fucking scene quickly. We talk. Because humans don't fuck things look like you. And Wendy. Wendy. You, cigarette butt bitch. Cigarette factory fucking slut. Really? Huh? You smoke more cigarette than the fucking woman with on a dying bed. <laughs> you ever see a chain smoker on a fucking dying bed, a dying bed trying to smoke her fucking nerve, the fucking ease, her fucking her, her ride, her last journey? That's how we need to ski on. Every minute she puffing, 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 puffing. All them great fucking, you have like 10,000 fucking great scrawn in your hair, but Tony fucking give you because you can't keep your dick on lock. <laughs> And that's why you mobbing me. You mobbing me. You mobbing fucking me. Because you could never be me. Huh? Never. Never. And you also slapping up and talking fuck but all. You sending for me to come home. Canada's not my fucking woman. I passing to girl. I need passing to. Huh? Financially, I can afford the ride I on. Real talks. From this, I can stop the... the, the I, I come back before because, you know, it's campaign time. I got to fucking start up the campaign trail. So I'll be back and then after that, I go Dubai. Huh? I might end up in England. I don't have a money fucking problem because when I wake up broke, I just go get it. Huh? And don't mix me up with no credit, credit card fucking for girl. You, you was an old fucking sneaky fucking snake. Any niggas, that, and you like niggas that money. And you know you can't get it because you can't sell your pussy because your pussy fucking done, done. Done, 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 done. So the only thing you can do is let other niggas them set up. The only thing you can do is set up other niggas them to rob niggas. Because niggas ain't buying that pussy. Huh? You can put that on an 85% fucking clearance rack. And niggas ain't buying that. And you know that. That pussy done, done, done. From now's the time, that pussy being cooked. Real talks, overcooked. Don't run with me. Your baby daddy's in dead. Your first baby daddy's in dead just to get rid of that pussy. 
Niggas ain't fucking dead just to get rid of that. And you run on me. Like, really? Y'all mad, eh? Y'all bug, eh? Don't, 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 don't mind that. You talking fuck with Ross Lee. Or Ross Lee. Ross Lee, where? Live, where? Where he going? If he didn't leave me when I was black, you think he can leave me now that I'm fucking bright? <laughs> Back up. If Ross didn't switch on me when I was fucking black, you think he can switch on me now that I'm bright? Girl, please. Y'all fucking know y'all rolling, know y'all place. Now what else? Y'all mad? Y'all bug? That's what y'all fucking, y'all mad and y'all bug. Even the cigarettes have a fucking problem with you with this lockdown right now, man. It's up, y'all, eh? You smoking them fucking cigarettes like how you wish you could smoke Tony Deck, but you know you don't want no pussy. You know you don't want that. And yeah, guys, I bought the exit of this bitch. But in the meantime, when it doesn't matter, you can put up pictures from back when I was fucking 18. When I was, there's got me super chicken. That's how small I was in school. So you can pick up, you can pick up any pictures you want and post on me. It doesn't matter. That was me then. This is me now. Now what else? What fucking else, girl? What else? When I come free pot, you hold that cut ass for fucking me, okay? And when you see Sydney Patrice Jackson, listen to me. Don't come slapping up enough. Don't you know you like the you love the jick. You like you like the jick right and I love the boys. So what I will show you is I will show you a trick. I will show you a trick, right? Because you can't jick someone from a distance. You have to be close to them to fucking reach them and jick them. So I want to show you a trick. I will show you a trick how I can be a mile away and burst your fucking eye out. I will show you that trick. Real talks. Because you'll never come close to me to jick me. Real talks. But I will show you the difference between jicking and fucking boasting. Real talks. I will stand over on the next side of the road and kill your fucking head off with you. You got to reach me to jick me. Oh, God. Listen to me. I don't fight. So when I don't boast your head off and you're leaking wet, I didn't dip out and go on a long time because I know you can call the police. You know you suck the police cock. I saw a couple of them in fucking Central Station. You sucking they dick hard. Hard. That moat you have is a fucking police moat. You love niggas in uniform. You know that. Because you was the only fucking bitch I know who could sell government fucking offic government official IDs in Grand Bahama and ain't lock up yet. You was the only person. I know we can sell government fucking official ideas, driver's license, work permit, and these things, and grandma and ain't lock up yet. I personally call the police here. Yeah, 6 9 is a snitch. Cindy's a snitch, too. <laughs> I just snitch when I have the fucking snitch because I believe in giving people the opportunity of going to jail and sitting down and thinking about the things that they said about me, you know? Real talks. That's how Spike I is a wicked fucking bitch. Real talks. If I hate you so much, I won't send you a place. I want you to sit down and think about all the wrong things you did to me. So I was saying it to jail. I called the fucking police station. I told them what Wendy Fox did. And I gave them two certified people that they could pick up that I know had the ID. Um, why is that? I have 1,800 people watching me. I think it's only fair for me to find out what really what's going on with the Royal Bahamas Police Force, Central Police Station, Grandmama. I called the police station and I gave them two people that helped the ID that they bought from Wendy Fox for $500. And the police went there and pick up the two poisons, okay? And the police found the poison in uh, possession of the government ID and they write down statement and give the fact that Wendy Fox sold them the ID and that they bought it for $500. I think it was $500 or $400. I called the officer back and I said, hold on, what's going on, boss? They said, why are you on the lock up in here? Because I'm waiting for this like camera in action because you know I love, I love actions. Real talk, you understand? I want to see that fucking bitch go behind the bars. She talking, but she want to see me go behind the bars. See the difference between me and you this. I ain't scared to get locked up. You a bitch. When it comes to getting locked up, you know you's a bitch. You know you's a real fucking snotty bitch. You'll fucking give them couple bodies and all just to fucking get out of jail. You, you'll give them couple guns. If you know any niggas with guns, you'll fucking turn them over. You, you, I, I know you afraid to go to jail. That's why I want to send you there. <laughs> I want to send you fucking there. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about trees. I don't want to go to jail now. It's just that when I go to jail, I like the bunk bed number two put by the fan close to the window because I like the breeze, you know? <laughs> ah, see, that's the only difference between me and you. I don't want to go to jail. I like the bunk bed by the window close to the fucking breeze where I can fucking stand up on the fucking, 
on the fucking uh the, the little bucket there's up there and tell the girl, hey, make me noodles, man, come check me. Huh? I don't call it that. But you on the next hand. You know, you scared of jail. <laughs> but I tell, I tell, I tell homeboy, I say, man, what's going on, man? Why you lock up in the talking about because of COVID? He ain't lock up in the, they ain't lock up in the because they trying to get more evidence because of COVID. But fucking COVID, y'all locking up niggas in, in, inside NASA for selling coconuts and fuck later. You trying to tell me y'all ain't lock up in the yet because y'all ain't lock up in the when they selling fucking government official ID? The bitch fucking working for customs and ain't fucking legitimate. You, the, the bitch working for customs and was never hired by customs. The bitch working for immigration was never hired by immigration. Huh? The bitch working for this government fucking legitimate fucking office and was never hired by them. Okay. Y'all show me one police officer you could send to go pick up evidence against somebody and they have evidence and they have statement that Cindy Patrice Daxon have this in her, in, in her possession. And I get it from this person there picking the poison because of COVID. COVID? COVID ain't stopping nobody from getting locked up and go to jail. Huh? So, Wendy, what you need to tell us is who cock you really sucking in fucking Central? Who dick you really sucking up there? That's what I need to find out. Somebody need to tie Marvin Dames in this fucking post because I would love to know how in the world you on the media slapping up a Cindy Patrice Daxon, but you... You sell a lot of Haitians in Abaco, work from it. If I die, if I lie, I die. And I put all my cheering on this, okay? I, somebody from immigration watching this, could y'all please type Mr. Russell in this? Let him know Cindy Patrice Jackson have a word with him, please. When do you sell, must about 20 Haitians in the mud, work from it. You sell Haitians them in fucking Freeport, work from it. I never in my life saw nobody sold fucking voter's card. You even sold by voter's card. So the effing might have not fucking even win. Because you were selling voters card. The purple fucking one, not even the yellow one before the purple. You had the up to date fucking cards. So how are you? How, how the Bahamas ain't know the fucking F and M fucking didn't win off a fake fucking voters card? Huh? You selling permanent fucking residency? You selling fucking. Yeah. Yeah. And if I lie, I die. Somebody pay Mr. Russell, please. Marvin Dames, pay him, please. 6 9 is a snitch. He's a fucking joke to me. I snitching on the camera. Cole, I want you to go to jail. You, you can smoke them fucking cigarettes in jail, girl. You can smoke them in jail. I promise you that. Huh? Real talks. You're fucking with my children, talking about my little baby, but how you taking my baby and taking these things? You need to confess about all this. You sell up the country. You sell the fucking country out. You sold the bombs out. Kovac is a fucking joke. Dorian is a fucking joke when it comes to you. You, you sell more work permit, permanent fucking residency. I couldn't believe it was real. I tell you that's a lie. But when I saw, oh, I need some water for this. Um, I need some water, please. I need, I need some water for this. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> I got something else for you. Hold on. And the Cuban woman, hold on. Wendy, uh, excuse me, Pajan, Royal Bahamas Police Force. Can I please have an officer to call uh, inbox Cindy Patrice Daxon? I want to send you all to the Cuban lady where Wendy took her $10,000 uh, to get her her um, her um work papers. Wendy, remember the, the lady you robbed, right? Uh, Pajan, the Royal Bahamas Police Force. The la remember the, the, the Cuban lady who you robbed oh. and who you take the 10 grand from? Huh? Okay. That's something Ooh. extra. That's something extra. I just get on you. I just get that night. I just get that nice info on you, girl. Yeah, the Cuban lady where you take the fucking remember the ten grand you take from the lady to go get her white documents. Yeah, you remember that the ten grand you take you, you take from the woman. Okay, mm -hmm. all right, all right. I will send the fucking bus there. I, I yeah. Uh -huh. When you come at me, you come right. You come fucking right. You come right. And if anything, the Royal Bahamas Police Force know when Cindy Patrice Daxon have something to you, I come in the same jail. They know that. Real talks. My little boy daddy, when he did me wrong, I sent him to jail. I go into the police station and I sent him to jail. Now, Wendy Fox, it's only right for you to go to jail. Because you sold half of the mud work permits. Did you not? Okay? You sold half of the mud work permit. Okay? You did. You sold residency. You did. You sold voter's card. 
you did. I put it on my children's life and everybody know I love my children different. I would never lie. I didn't fucking hear this. I see this. I saw you. I saw you because I tell you the lie. You talk. But you know what, Bindi? I have my fucking Android phone still upstairs. The only thing is that I need to get that fucking, uh, the charger part is not working on that. So all I need that to do is uh, get fixed. Once I get fixed and I cut on, well, what the fuck? All I see is like, they coming for you. They coming for fucking you. I tell you why they coming for you. Because I have the fucking pictures would you send me. Huh? With the fucking wave mitts. You remember the pictures would you send me the fucking two wave mitts? Huh? You remember that? Uh, yeah. 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 And that's why the Bahamas the way it is now because of people like Wendy Fox, y'all, and sell the fucking country out. You sell it out with pride. You sell it with pride. Yes. That's how I just fuck you back. Remember that. See, what one thing with me, let me tell you someone, let me tell you one thing with Patrice. I can tell you how I is. When people love stuff on me, I don't back. I don't back. I don't back. I'll be asked to back at you and you have fucking shit on me. But when I have stuff on you, don't come backing at me. Don't back at fucking me. Because when I back back, I back with facts and evidence. Huh? The Royal Bahamas Police Force have a statement written from a legitimate person. I have the government ID that their person give them and say they buy from you, but you still walking around. You still walking around in Grand Bahama after selling fucking the government issued ID. Why are you still walking around? Okay. I go to jail because I was there. I ain't going to jail because I was not fucking there because when Wendy get her fucking documents, I don't know where she get them fucking from. She show me. I tell her it's a fucking lie. So she take a picture and she fucking send it to me. What the fuck you mean I was there? I was in an article when I was just selling them fucking them documents. Me and I didn't be an article. What the fuck? Her movie, she cut us her fucking movie. Huh? When she's selling them fucking shit for $2,500. Huh? For uh, twenty five hundred dollars a pop, Cindy Patrice Daxon was in that, and I didn't even get a fucking dollar to even buy a fucking Hennigan from that. Boom, boom, yeah. When you run that, run that, run fucking that, run that, bitch. Fucking play me good. Run that. Somebody talk. Anybody from immigration watching this live feeling? Please, please. Wendy Fox sell about twenty government issued work permit inside the mud. She also sell a couple inside Nassau, must be 20 there. And she sold a couple inside Freeport also, okay? She sold driver's license, she sold work permit, she sold residency. If I lie, I die. Me and all my children, I ain't gonna lie. If I lie, I die. This is pure, genuine fact. I put Floyd Rico, I put all my fucking children, all my babies, every last one of them I put before me and God. If I lie, we all die. And I will never swear in my children's life. So that's pure facts, genuine facts. So when you slap it about sitting between that's it. Slap on that. Ah, because the only, I, I wait patiently for them to slap that fucking cuff on your wrist. Real talk. I want you to look at that wrist. You know the song, look at, look at that wrist. I want the wrist to be blinging with that fucking silver band. That silver fucking crispy iron band. That, that's what I want you to rock. I want you to rock that fucking well girl. Real talks. You talking about Cindy, credit card for <laughs> This bitch selling way permit, driver's license, fucking voter's card, real motherfuck. I lie? Tell me I lie. Huh? Tell me I lie, man. Tell me I lie. Tell me I lie. I lie. Okay. Um, Marvin Dance, please inbox to the Beatrice. Your officer was given evidence, legitimate evidence about government IDs being sold. They collected the ID, took the statement from the client, and it's been almost uh, five months now. So I really need to know what's going on with the Royal Bahamas Police Force. It's not okay in the Bahamas to sell driver's license. It's not okay in the Bahamas to sell work permit. It is not okay in the Bahamas to sell residency. It is not okay in the Bahamas to sell voter's card. It is not okay in the Bahamas to have a citizen of the Bahamas that doesn't work for immigration. When people is going to immigration and putting, it, putting in their legitimate documents and having to wait, it's not fair for people to pay a Bahamian citizen $2,500 to get a work permit. 
It is not fair. Okay. So in the meantime, in the meantime, back up. Back fucking up. And this was just in 2018? Yeah, 2018. 2018, she was selling the fuck out of them. 2017, 2018, the late part of 2017, 2018, she was selling them. Had. This ain't happened fucking 10 years ago. Lately. This is not a laughing matter. So why, when y'all on Windy fucking live, listening to Windy, y'all need to ask her about all them government fucking ID she sold. Okay? And the Royal Government Police Force, no, I'm not lying. Because they already have, uh, uh, they already have evidence of one ID. Okay? Real talk. So why they didn't pick up yet and question her? Why? Why they ain't pick up and question her yet? Okay. Tell me why. Why? But if you go slap someone now and they go to the station and make charges, they can come pick you up. They can come pick you up. Huh? If the police know you have gun in your house, they come in to search. Huh? If they find gun in your house, they can lock you up. Huh? Real talks. If someone tip the police right off and say coke somewhere, they running and they going. So tell me why it's okay for being a citizen to sell fucking uh, uh, government documents. And five months fucking later, that person was never questioned or never fuck. Like, really? No. Something can't be fucking right. Not when y'all locking up fucking people for breaking curfew and locking up people for fucking coconuts in the fucking 242 and have a whole fucking smoky the bandit bitch fucking selling documents and fucking she's still out on the road to sell more. Okay. I know Wendy wrong. I know Wendy wrong. It's because of you, Wendy, the Bahamas can never be a better place. You have to be the fucking... You... You fucking bigger than Mr. Russell and all I mean fuck if you can sell fucking work for me. You is a fucking you must be the minister of fucking tourism. <laughs> fuck that, you is a minister of immigration. Hey, guys, we, we have a minister of immigration. You must be in charge of fucking immigration, girl. You's a big senior fucking government official woman, you know. You's a higher up on the higher. Huh? <laughs> fuck that. You must see the fucking prime minister the Bahamas say. I mean, fuck, minutes can't even make that call. Well, I mean, he could make that fucking call because you know all of them sneaky together. But listen to me. When do you have to be a smoke? You have to be a senior fucking woman. Huh? Real talk. You have to be. Real talk. Smokey the bandit. Huh? Cigarette butt bitch. When y'all run on me, they run on the top. See, I started to think about the situation, but I said, no, I look at you, you come and run on with me with all kind of lies. Hmm. Real talks. <laughs> Who mad? Who fucking mad? Who mad? Stay mad. Yeah, y'all, 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 keep your head of Vindy because I mean, fuck the Royal Bombers Police Force letting the fucking sell documents. They let us sell, sell documents. I lie. Because they have a statement inside the station where they have the fucking legitimate. I wonder if they bury that. Because I mean, fuck. Girl, you, how much of them, them cops you fucking dick you sucking? Because you must be sucking a lot of their cops. Because I don't understand how you could fucking cut that movie and you don't lock up yet. Real talks. Listen to me, I ain't trying to be inspected, gadget, and fucking all these things. But all I know for sure, Wendy, when you running on with Cindy Beatrice fucking Daxon, you emigration fucking employee, when you running on with Cindy Beatrice Daxon, you emigration employee, you please talk fucking facts. When you posting up my picture and posting up my fucking husband picture and trying to fucking style it on the media, I want you to please talk your facts of the fucking portion of the Bahamas you sell out. Real talk. Talk that. Now what else? Okay. And I will be coming back to the Bahamas. I coming back when it's time to testify against you, bitch. <laughs> ah, I have my fucking my phone is waking, you know. It right up says it has to get a little charge apart for you, know. 
talking fuck to you. When you were selling fucking lobster and fish and fucking count, you selling fucking them documents. But I need you selling them now. I I I need, I need you selling them now. She robbed the woman with ten grand. She robbed the fucking the 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 the, the uh, Cuban woman or Filipino woman, whatever. She robbed she robbed the woman with ten grand, Wendy. Got a ten grand though, cause I mean so, the girl asked say, Cindy, you don't know, but I said no, but what? But you know, Wendy's friend, when Wendy robbed the fucking woman, I didn't know because she didn't buy me no anything. She didn't buy me no fucking anything. <laughs> How are you supposed to fucking know? So anyhow, guys, I'm about to exit in this, out of this bitch. In the meantime, guys, it is was it, what it is. Uh, G5, get that dirt off you. Listen to me. If OxyClean can't fucking help you, you're done. Okay? So if the OxyClean can't help you, baby, fuck that. I think you need to try the pixie dust. It will definitely get that black spot. That permanent fucking spot in the bounce of your mother pussy in. That will get that off. Shio. Please. Please, for God's sake, give that pussy a break. That pussy then burping, and you fucking won't give. Give that a break, please. Give that a break, okay? And Wendy, you immigration employee, please, fuck up, fuck, fuck it up. But I can tell you right now, they need to do something with you before the election come around because there's a lot of fake voters out there. Real talks. I damn day this with it is. Hats off. Chappelle out. Thank <laughs> you.